I mean, just commit to each other. If they want to be together, to commit to each other and know that there's a lot of noise out there. Obviously, there's been a lot of changes over the past few months, but I'd love to know your opinion and what you would like to see happen in the Bachelor franchise in the future. Oh gosh, that's a big question. Yeah, I think again, what they're doing is creating more diversity. And I've talked about this a little bit before on some podcasts, but I feel like they need to get a lead who genuinely um, is attracted to different races so that when you know they have a, a diverse cast, the top four don't end up the same race because that's all they're attracted to. Because mm -hmm. I don't think that's very fair for people of color if that was the race that someone wasn't attracted to, for them to just be like kind of token and there to kind of fill the gap, but not really be there intentionally to find love for that person. And yes, I get that if someone has never dated, um, you know, a Latino guy before and to introduce them to that, and a guy that has a lot of other qualities that they're looking for. But I think sometimes the lead just isn't genuinely attracted to anybody but blondes with blue eyes or brunettes with brown eyes. And um, I think that's where th we'll start to see changes. Yeah. Do you think they kind of missed the mark on Matt's season because so much focus was on the girls' drama and not so much oh, on oh. Matt? And maybe yeah. they also did him a disservice too because he wasn't part of the franchise and just kind of like threw him to the wolves. It seems like a little bit. He did okay, I think, considering. I think a lot of people gave him flack, but again, remember, he's not privy to any of the little things that other leads would already have known. Mm -hmm. So I think he did a really good job, but yes, there was so much drama that we didn't really get to know about the girls. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when it came to the end, and there was all that drama beforehand, so we're kind of fixated on that, knowing that maybe it's not gonna work. So a lot of things tainted that season, I think. Mm -hmm. Now that he and Rachel are kind of giving their relationship another try, what's your advice for them post-bachelor life and kind of, you know, they have so much media attention on them. So how do you kind of survive that? I mean, just commit to each other. If they want to be together, to commit to each other and know that there's a lot of noise out there, but to really look at each other and say, is this, is this something real? Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what they're doing. I think taking a break and reconnecting is going to be really good for their relationship. Mm -hmm.